Hey everybody, and welcome to this video. In today's short video, we're going to cover why the ketogenic diet is beneficial for your brain. Now, without a doubt, the human brain is the most complicated organ in the human body. Despite having a profound comprehension of what the keto diet can do for the brain, scientists regularly debate the fundamental question, what's your brain's best energy source? It's a straightforward question with a direct response, but sadly, the answer has become too complicated because of conflicting dietary chops. Trying to know how to fuel your mind optimally is a difficult task indeed. Read five posts online and you'll probably get five distinct answers. Read five more posts and you're bound to get completely confused. But ketones have been proven to be one of the best sources of fuel for the brain. Ketones are burned with different enzymes and pathways compared to sugar, causing a cascade of effects that enhance brain health. So let's go over a few of the ways that ketone bodies benefit the brain. Ketones are a neuroprotective antioxidant. They have been discovered in many animal models to act as an antioxidant, preventing harmful reactive oxygen species from malignant cells. Ketone bodies, beta-hydroxybutyrate mainly, are a much more efficient supply of energy per unit oxygen compared to glucose. Burning ketones are a part of keeping up the health of aging brain cells, because brain cells tend to reduce their ability to utilize glucose effectively as fuel as time moves on. Lots of men and women state that sugar is the main fuel of our bodies. For the large part, this can be accurate. Furthermore, it helped kids with epilepsy. The ketogenic diet is one treatment option for children with epilepsy whose seizures are not controlled with AEDs. The diet may help to lower the quantity or severity of seizures and might frequently have positive effects on behavior. A large percentage of individuals with epilepsy may have their seizures controlled with anti-epileptic medications, AEDs. For many kids who are still having seizures, the ketogenic diet might help. On the other hand, the diet is quite specialized. It needs to be carried out together with the maintenance, supervision, and advice of trained medical experts. The subsequent diets have more flexible strategies, which might suit adults or teens. They continue to be medical remedies with possible side effects and have to be accepted by the individual's neurologist. A ketogenic dietitian should individually set the dietary plan for this individual so it is healthy and safe. The modified Atkins diet, sometimes known as altered ketogenic treatment, utilizes a higher percentage of fats along with rigorous control of carbs, but is significantly more flexible compared to classical or MCT ketogenic diets since carbohydrates, protein, and carbs aren't restricted. Low Glycemic Index Therapy, LGIT, focuses on how carbs influence the degree of sugar in the bloodstream, the glycemic index, in addition to the quantity of carbohydrates consumed. Approximate part sizes are utilized instead of food being measured or weighed. The keto diet has always been proven to help in numerous others, which also come with a range of benefits, such as being a healthy diet for your brain. Okay, that's enough for this topic, guys. I'm not a neurologist, and I don't think you want to become one either, and that's why we don't dive any deeper here. However, I wanted to give you a short high-level overview so that you are thoroughly informed. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.